Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back and um, I'm doing it in vlog style today. Uh, because I'm not going to have time later to do a regular format, but I want to give my impressions of the Nintendo shareholder meeting um, yesterday. And um, wasn't really much of anything, of course, but there was a very interesting nugget of information that Nintendo is in fact researching VR and um, figuring out ways to use it. And Miyamoto said something interesting. He said that Nintendo does have the core technology for VR and they're figuring out ways to use it. Now, <clears throat> what core technology is Nintendo working on right now? Well, that would be the Nintendo NX, right? What else are they working on besides the NX that we know of? Maybe the supplemental computing device? However, the uh, patent on that, Nintendo still needs to uh, publish and pay for. And um, even though it went through and was approved, it's highly doubtful that they have anything like that ready just yet. So the Nintendo NX is their next console. And VR is coming out you know, for consoles this year. It's already out for PC. So Nintendo said that they're working on it and they already have the, t the core technology. So the core technology, in my point of view, would be the Nintendo NX. Now, there were rumors uh, recently that the NX um, got some kind of a you know, VR additional upgrade to it. Now, a VR upgrade doesn't mean some kind of a chip added to the console. No, it, it means basically it got a spec boost. It got a spec increase is what that means because VR requires at least four teraflops of power to run on PC. It, it needs at least four teraflops of, of GPU power. So it would be extremely easy for Nintendo to upgrade the specs of the NX to be at that level because as we know, the Polaris RX 460, 470, and 480 were just released today, in fact. And the GPU uh, teraflops of those cards, especially the 470 and, and 480, are five teraflops and above. So it would be extremely easy for Nintendo to use some type of Polaris 470 or what have you in the NX uh, console. Maybe even downclock it or whatever, modify it to a way that's lower powered as far as you know wattage and temperature is concerned and have it be able to have that four teraflops of power it's not out of the realm of possibility so it's something very interesting to think about because the neo uh, rumor specs are just a little bit over four teraflops so we had that rumor from that french uh, website that was uh, you know of course just a rumor but that french website did state that the nx was going to have specs that were close to the PlayStation 4 Neo. So four teraflops would be close to the PlayStation 4 Neo because it would need that to run VR. I highly doubt Nintendo would release some kind of add-on just for VR and I highly doubt they even created or was thinking about VR when they were thinking about uh, developing that supplemental computing device. It doesn't fit Nintendo's mindset but since VR is something that is currently going through the market it's selling somewhat it's not as big that I don't think as people were thinking so far but it could be big so I think Nintendo would definitely that as I said is researching possibilities to use it so something like that would be more beneficial if the NX had that capability right out of the box because uh, adding it on later additional add-ons is just something that is superficial and I don't think would sell very well if it's capable right out of the box and all you would need to buy would be the VR headset at that point. So definitely something to consider in regards to the NX power. Probably my guess is that they did upgrade the power of the NX to uh, be not only VR compatible, obviously Nintendo doesn't uh, follow the trends of everybody else, but also to be competitive with, with the other systems as well. Scorpio was just announced as being six teraflops. PlayStation 4 Neo obviously hasn't been officially announced by Sony, but they have kind of, you know, said some things about it. It's going to be a high-end PlayStation. So it's going to need to have specs that are closer to that level than the, at then point, you know, four-year-old PlayStation 4 when the NX is finally released, or close to four years old. So it's going to need to have some additional horsepower to do that. So this statement kind of narrows it down, doesn't it? 
four teraflops is what the what VR needs. Nintendo's not going to release some kind of add-on a uh, few years down the road to to try VR. It's going to have to have VR ready out, out of the gate. I would I would think according to the statement. So take that for what you will, guys. He didn't say that NX has is VR ready, but he said they have the technology right now to make VR work, which means the NX basically is capable of running VR. That's what it means. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Uh, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys very soon in the next video. Take care.